Hey, Garrett Brill down here in Texas. Um, today I want to talk to you about drone sense. I'm going to make uh, three videos. One of them will go over the pilot app, the other will go over the airbase, and then we'll do op center and some mission planning stuff. Okay. Right now, um, what I have is the DJI M210 with the XT2 and the Z30 attached uh, out in front of my house. I just have a Mavic sitting there, um, just sitting out there, and all the stuff is on the ground. Obviously, I'm inside and it's outside, so. Um, that's all we, we can really do here. I'm not going to fly it, but it's good enough for what we need. Uh, before I get started, I want to thank Jamie Moore with the Johnson County Emergency Management. He's made this happen for the uh, Public Safety U.S. Response Team of North Texas, uh, PCERT. Uh, I want to give him, a, give him a special thanks on this. And uh, We're just now transitioning to it. We're still doing training on it. Uh, we've, been, we've had it for a while, but we're, we're just now at the point where we're transitioning to it. So if you're starting a multi-agency response team or mutual aid this is something you definitely want to look at so what other reason does do people want to look at drone sense or some agencies that are doing it over the the whole data security concern uh, that's debatable how big of an issue is that but i'm not here to talk really about that i'm just here to kind of show you drone sense and what it is so this is the pilot app first will be the pilot app then we'll talk about uh air base and then the op center and mapping so we'll start here uh kind of go counterclockwise here we have your gimbal angles uh, very clear easy to see um, this is important for like an acquisition handoff uh, we have a your um, your distance from your pilot similar here we finally have something we've been asking for for a while you actually have a heading uh, that's fantastic so that so that you can uh, relay the the direction that you're looking a lot better um, that's that's something that everybody's been asking for a while you have your speeds horizontal vertical um, here we have something that we haven't had, we've been asking for, so we always get AGL altitude. Well, now we have MSL. Anybody that does multi-UAS operations knows that having to deploy, everybody deploy from a single LZ for airspace separation stinks. Uh, MSL altitude finally allows us to have multiple LZs and still fly uh, with airspace separation. So that's the great news. This is similar control to, to DJI. If you're flown DJI stuff, this can be very familiar to you. Uh, this is the Z30 and you just you know tap to zoom is there. Um, I'm not gonna spend any more time than that on it. It's the same basic controls as, as what you get from DJI in there. You can tap on this and switch over to the XT. Coming up here, these are really more for the map. And we'll look at those that here in a minute. Um, over here, you have your camera controls pretty much almost the same thing as you get on the DJI, but you have full functionality, full control, take a picture, video, whatever. These are your, right up here, these are your um, camera specific controls. So if I switch over to Z30, you'll see that that's a subset. Switch over here, you'll see there. And even, even within one camera, if I switch over to Viz mode in XT2, you can see it's a subset, right? So I go over to the MSX mode and there. So Along here, going along top of your camera specific, there's zoom, map, you can switch to your FPV camera, your, um, your uh, Z30 if I want to switch to that, you have this for your alignment. Uh, MSX, I can switch between MSX and this and pick and the, oops, and the um, picture in picture and everything else. So all that functionality is there. Uh, their, their isotherm is worth noting. Uh, they did it very similar to the XT Pro app, very nice implementation. You turn it on, turn it off. Um, you can adjust, do a quick slider, or you can fine tune it with these. They also have the quick picks for searching for people and for and for using on fire. So very nicely done there. Uh, quick FFC for those that are familiar with flying with thermal uh, public safety. That's an important feature. Uh, you have a spot meter. All right, you can spot meter anything just by touching on it, and then you have your. Uh, your box, your region that you can take and do it. And you also have your temp alarm. I have it for 32, so obviously it's going to alarm, um, but there's that, all right? Going across here, you have your general settings, your this your account settings. Uh, thermal just tells you what you really have it on in generic settings, your iPad battery, your aircraft battery checklist. These can be controlled from the by the agency um, and their output so that uh, the checklist requires the pilots to go through it. Uh, it's nice so that you can have standardized it across your agency. Um, this will tell you your video and your remote connections to it. GPS, so you get your counts and stuff, but we have uh, latitude and longitude. I know that we have that on the pilot app, uh, but that's really great. 
Okay, so here this is mostly for the app. I will say with this we can send text messages um, that show up on everybody's screen is kind of a pop-up. We've been asking for that for a while too. Very nice for communicating to everybody on your team or to someone specific and they show up here on this list. Um, over here real quick, you can see that there's someone geared. Now, I'm, I'm on the 210. Now, I told you there was a Mavic out front. So if I check this, it'll tell me a Mavic Pro in manual operation. It tells me obviously it's sitting on the ground. So that's all we get on it, but we get the information that we need. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna switch over to map here. Uh, let's see here. And I wanna look at a hybrid. Okay, so what you can see here is I've, in fact, I, I dropped earlier, I dropped a little body here just to kind of show you, but you can take and click on that body and drop that there and that'll show up on anybody. That, the Mavic, if he was flying out front and back, but you can see here some important things is you can see the other guys. Now, if you don't wanna see them, you can turn it off. If he's just sitting on the ground, and he's cluttering up your screen, you turn it off or you can turn it on. And not only shows you where he's at, but it shows you his heading and it'll also show you his flight. Uh, very, very important and very, very functional for uh, multi UAS flights there with your team, okay? Um, real quick in here, I'm gonna show you flight planning and that'll be the end of, it, end of this one. So you can take and do a flight plan. This is gonna be similar to, everybody's been wanting the Ground Station Pro implemented on the Pilot app, which they're working on, but it's not there yet. So here we are with it and you can pick, you just pick your platform, you pick your, your camera, um, you pick the resolution you're gonna shoot at, and then you pick an action and then here's your action. So let's say we're gonna do a little search right over here and I'm gonna do it here and then I don't know, I'm just, I'm just doing this real quick. And I'm gonna take my altitude down to something normal and then there would be, so anybody that's familiar with something like Ground Station Pro or Lychee or any of that, it, you're gonna feel right at home with this. It's kind of the very similar to the same thing. Uh, very nicely you can save this uh, out to a cloud and so that you can share this with other, your wingmen and everything else. So I'm gonna cancel that because I don't want it in there. Um, go back to the op center so I can see that. And, and again, so if I needed to put, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just drop something out here real quick. Let's just say this is a, a bomb. We're looking for a bomb. I'm gonna just drop it right there, all right? And I get to pick who I can send it to. I'm gonna tell it all so that they'll see it. Now that just showed up on all my team members' maps and including uh, command. So uh, anyway, very nicely done. Um, that's uh, the end of it for this, um, for basically the pilot app and I will, uh, next one will be over on the, the air base. So anyway, talk to you later. Bye.